So I'm working on the planetary sets right now, the transmission. Um, I didn't realize there's one part that I'm gonna have to tear a couple transmissions apart for. This drum on mine, the center piece is actually worn real bad. It was worn a little bit and I was just gonna, I was gonna fix it um, just because you can't buy these new, but the inside is worn real bad. So I'm gonna have to tear a couple transmissions apart to fix the drum. But anyways, or to replace the drum, I shouldn't say fix it. So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut some planetaries. So to do away with this thrust washer, and we're gonna go to a Torrington roller bearing. This is the roller bearing that I found that's gonna work. There might be other ones. I don't know what everybody uses. This is just what I found works. Uh, that is the part number right there. They come in bags of three, which is convenient because you need three of them for doing this. So anyways, um, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go over to the lathe. I'll put this into time-lapse. Um, and then when I get all of the machining done, I'll come back and I'll tell you what I did for machining. Not really rocket science. Now, if you are doing this, um, you, I will recommend, um, I've never done this before. This is information that I've figured out. It's not really rocket science. You figure out what bearing you need, uh, but you will need a lathe and somebody that can run the lathe for you to do it. Um, but I wanted, I wanted to mention is, is that yeah, you have to be able to assemble everything um, to figure out exactly what your depths are. So basically what I'm gonna do, and I'll have to reassemble this, basically what I'm gonna do to start with is I'm gonna cut the difference, basically. I'm gonna, this is my, it is the thrust washer that would normally be there. And I'm gonna take the difference from this and this, and that's how deep I'm gonna cut this groove. Um, and then I have to do the same thing on this drum. Um, I have to cut the groove in here for that. And then on this one, I have to cut on both sides. I have to cut on this side and on this side. Um, just that's the way that guys seem to do it. I, I don't, and I've never done this before, so it's a learning experience for myself as well. So anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to throw it in a time lapse now. And we'll catch you over at the lathe and you'll see it in time lapse for that part. Just, I don't even know how long it's going to take me. It might take me an hour. It might take me five hours. I don't know how long it's going to take. So if it does take a long time, obviously this video will probably not going to go up until it's finished. Um, so then you guys see it all at once. But anyways, uh, we'll catch you over at the lathe. All right guys, so I kind of got, I got some of the machining done here. Um, I still have to do the front planetary, but I got the rear one done. Oh, let me pull it apart here. I still got more to do, but because I have to, I got to cut this washer down and this washer. So you see where I put that bearing in right there. And then I cut this one, that surface in there, and this bearing goes there. This is the rear planetary, that's how you do that. I think if I was to do another one, or when I do another one, I think I'll actually put it on the dividing head on the mill, I think. I think it would be easier on there. These pins, um, which I was forewarned, these pins are super hard to machine. So I think that uh, the next one I do, I'm going to put it in the mill with the dividing head. So I'm not planning on doing another one for a little while, but so I'm not planning on, um, well, I'll probably do, I'll be doing a few more transmissions of my own, but I'm not planning on doing this for people. Um, it's not, I'm not a transmission guy. I honestly don't really like transmissions, um, which I think I've said before, but anyway, so what I got to do is I'm going to do, I got to do the same thing as I did to that one, to this one as I did to this one. So um, I have to cut this surface um, and cut this surface, but I, what I want to do is I got to get the drum out of that transmission tomorrow um, Make sure it's good So I want to make sure I'm using the drum that I'm gonna use because I have to set my the tolerance So basically when you stack all this When you stack all this stuff up, you still got to be able to get your snap ring and then you need a little bit of play Whoop, sorry, you have to you have to all your stuff stacks on here and then you still have a little tiny bit of play right here so that's what I got done today anyway on this. 
<clears throat> All right, guys, so I got that other transmission ripped apart and um, got the drum out of it, or the sun shell. Sun shell, I think. Anyways, part that I needed out of the other transmission anyways. So now I got to take this one. This is for the front planetary, or the most front planetary. Um, and I got to cut grooves in both sides of this. So I'm going to do that now, throw that in a time lapse, and then I'll show you what I've done so far when we're assembling it and stuff. I got to monkey around a bit, so it'll be... A little bit of time lapse involved here because I got a little bit of time because um, I got to cut it. I got to cut what I think I need out of it and then go check to make sure the depths are proper. Um, and uh, then as soon as I get it figured out, then I'll come to you and I'll show you what I've done. All right, guys, so we got this thing all machined up here. Um, maybe these safety glasses off. And yes, I was wearing safety glasses. So what we got here is rollerized planetary. As far as I know, I'm the only person that's ever showed how to do this. I'm not really sure why, it's not rocket science. I spent like, I don't know, maybe, I seen one. And that what gave me the idea for the bearings that we had apart was uh, um, one of my buddy's transmissions we had apart. And I'd heard about it before, but never seen it. I did a little bit of research, very little information. This is not rocket science. You do need a lathe or a mill to be able to do it. Um, I would say that I, this is the first one I've ever done. I would say I probably have about four and a half hours into it. And then... You're gonna need four of these bearings in total. Um, and I already linked the, the part number for these. Um, I'm sure you could probably buy them other places too. That's just the one that I found that seemed to be the best that I could find. So basically input shaft. So what you have to do is you have to cut grooves for these to go in. So basically what I did was instead of, give me one second, I just gotta grab some washers. These are the thrust washers that usually come in them. So basically these are 60 thou thick, or I measured them, I didn't have any new ones, but well, actually I guess I did have a new one somewhere. But anyways, um, they're 60 thou thick. So all I did was, these are 150 thou thick, and all I did was take the 60 off, leaves you 90, um, and then I compensated for it. So I cut grooves in this drum. Uh, so I cut the groove 90 thou thick, so the bearing sits tight in there. And this one I didn't have to touch at all. I guess you could have, you know, machined a little tiny bit off of this you wanted, but the surface looked okay. It looks funky, like it has staining on it, but there's no divots or anything in it. So, um, and this is the rear planetary. I did the same thing on this one. And so you take your input shaft, slide that on there now. And then your drum, this is the drum that I pulled out now. The one that I had seen, this washer was cut off and I didn't cut the washer off because I wanted the drum to be as high as possible. So I cut everything out of this um, because you want the drum to be up as high as you can as far as your, your uh, direct drum goes into it. Direct? Forward, sorry, your forward drum. So got that on there. So then your next, your next one in there, just slide that out of the way. That's my uh, miraging intermediate shaft. So basically the same idea, I cut the groove on this one. I cut this one 90 thou thick, and then I only cut this one, I think it was 65 thou thick, because what I was afraid of, you guys should be able to see that real well, is that this gets thin. So I didn't want to cut it all. You probably could have cut it all out, but I didn't want it to get thin being, I, I figured I could machine the, the planetary, so no huge deal for me. 
Um, and then this one, I had to cut 30, I think it was 30 thou. I cut off this, so we gave it actually 95 thou. But the reason for that was to get so that the snap ring would go on. So this just fits right on there. And the reason that I use these bearings throughout is this bearing fits on there. Get this on there, back in there. Just one sec. This bearing fits on here perfect with this uh, with this spacer that's supposed to be there. That's the reason I use those ones. And that goes on there like that. And then, like I said, this groove, same idea. So basically, you know, like the, the numbers that I'm gonna give you, maybe not the same for every one. So what you wanna do if you are gonna do this, just figure out where you, where you need to be for your heights um, and then just start stacking. So slide that in there right there. Don't pinch your fingers because it's really easy to pinch your fingers. Oh, and you do have to get, oh, I see. Oh, what do we got going on here? I got a bearing that's not in the right spot here or something. I know it fits because I've already had it together. got to wiggle around get the bearings to go in so and then you have your upper snap ring um, and what I did was on this I asked one of my buddies it's a tranny guy thanks Carl how much um, honestly I would usually that's one thing with the transmission I would usually have um, Carl and Steve at commissioner powertrain build this transmission for me the reason I wanted to do it on the video, I wanted to do it all on video, is I wanted to show you guys you can build the transmission yourself. Um, so, you know, if you don't want to build the transmission, that's fine, um, but you can you can do this. Valve body, on the other hand, I'm not doing the valve body for this. I'm having Steve and Carl do the valve body for me. Um, I just didn't want to get into it. I wanted a manual valve body. I didn't want to have problems. You know, maybe in a later date, I'll build one, um, but I don't, I, you know, I just didn't want to have a problem, so. Anyways, so what you want to have is five thou in between this. It's actually maybe just a touch tight yet. Oh, maybe not. Let's see here. Oh no, it's in there. So basically, all I wanted to do is I wanted to have five thou play up and down on this, like the whole assembly up and down, um, to make sure that you know you're not having any binding. So, and that's the roller I set up. So. Basically, I still need to, this drum has a little bit of wear on it, more than I would like. So I'm gonna fix that um, because this is, I only had two different ones and it was either this one or the other one. The other ones were worse than this one. So, and you can't buy this piece new from what I understand. So anyways, that's all there is to doing that. So basically if you have a lathe and a hundred dollars, I honestly don't even know what these, these are worth. These are probably 10 or 15 bucks each. I bought these and they were, 29 bucks Canadian each plus shipping. So they weren't horribly expensive, but you do have to buy in packs of three. So you, um, you know, like I'll have to, I have extras. I, I bought a few packs just because I figured, well, if I'm gonna buy them, might as well buy them. So anyways, that's doing the roller set. I haven't even lubed this thing yet and it just like glides. So that's gonna be awesome. Um, so anyways, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments. There will be more tranny stuff coming. Um, this is just the first, well, I don't know, I guess not the first video, first couple videos of the series. So anyways, this is doing Roller Eyes um, planetary set. Um, let me know if there's any, if you have any comments, questions, all that type of stuff. Um, first that I know of, this is the only, I am the only person that has showed this on the YouTube. So YouTube first, I guess. Um, and if I come across anything, when I, you know, when I'm finished assembling uh, this part, I will let you guys know. Anyways, catch you on the next one. Oh, thanks to my Patreons. Appreciate your uh, appreciate your support. Um, and uh, yeah, catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.